Hello everyone. So in this session, we will start the UV unwrapping of this model. So let's continue. So what I will do, I will just select the model, open the grid and just move it somehow here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have just built this model and we have to open the UV. So I will select this part at first and what I will do, I will just go to the UV which is inside the modeling panel. So UV, you have UV editor. Okay. But at first, what I have to do, if I open the UV, we will found that the UV is looking like this. So what I will do now, I will just select the part like one by one. I just select the part and we'll just open the UV. So right now I will just use one or two things like planner unwrapping. So I will go to UV and you have the uh, planner mapping spherical and cylinder so it depends on the shape so right now we have box like structure so we'll use the planner okay and spherical also when you have round surface and if you have cylindrical surface you can use the cylinder if you open the uv uh, uv editor so as you can see here is the toolkit of uv so i will just drag this down a little bit okay and we'll just put some out here so i can just click over here and just click over here we'll found this okay so that's the main feature of uv and click over here you will just have this uv toolkit and one more thing i have to do so i need this panel so right now i'm just off this and okay if you see here you will found the sub tools which is just kept over here that's the panel these are the few tools like move rotate scale as we do in uh, the normal modeling and we'll just minimize this little bit and make sure that whenever you are working you should have uh, this area when you just working for the uv and unwrapping any of the object you will give all its file into this so i will just render the same and just go to the photoshop for adding some textures okay now what i will do i will just make this side and if i select this part as you can see the part is looking like this so we have to just open this by proper proper manner so what i will do now i will do one thing is that i will go to the right click and face now we'll select the faces like okay by holding shift and we'll select the faces As you have seen that we have selected the front faces and now what I will do, I will just go to UV and here we have the planner. So instead of clicking over here, you should go to its property window. As you can see, it is projecting in the Z direction. Okay. So if this is projecting in the Z direction, we have the Z axis and apply. As you can see, it's set over here and if you look, you will found this. Okay. So I will just move this for a while. Yeah, we have to fix this part because as you can see it's not showing here but there is this part so we will fix this later words i will just move it here somehow here and now we'll select this back part by holding shift button and again uh, i think we have to change this i think to x-axis apply as you can see because you have to look at this coordinate points now this thing has just as you can see the shape is very different okay we will shut out this later words okay definitely we have to work for the same otherwise there would be a huge problem so i will just select all of them as you can see what i am selecting it's just updating here that's the fundamental of uv that's the main feature of uv so i'll select all of them and just what i will do i just go to the z axis and just apply now it's separated as you can see so we have now two parts this is the front one as if i go here you will find that this is the front part and this is the back one this one is the back one okay so here we have some parts left so what i will do now for uh, a comfort way i will just click this and have the isolate selection now i can see easily so go to face select the parts by holding shift button 
okay and we have left this one so right now if is you can see that it's facing on the x direction so i will go to x and apply okay now that part has removed and just move it somehow here so i will shift select all of them Then we have to just break this part okay and this is facing in the x direction x is fine and apply just open it and okay we have left one part i think two three four five and six seven and x and just apply reject now it's clear and this one so i need this part which we have already so as you can see these are the garbage part which is just here and if you want to open you can but i think we don't require but still we'll open the same let's go to the um, uv and have the planner and as you can see we will allow it to a a project from y-axis so that's the main thing so as you can see y-axis and just project the same and this is been left okay so we'll short out this later words as you can see we have just whole source of uv which has been opened by us and as you can see there is a small panel for grid checker if i click here if your checker is not in square so as you can see these are not in square these are in rectangle that means your uv is been disturbed and that should be corrected exactly if you have like this type of checker forming at your surface that means this should be corrected otherwise if you add some texture it will just stretch your texture like this so it's very important to examine with this that's very important so i will go to uv toolkit and now i will just off this because i don't require it the attribute editor okay so i have now space proper space for managing all the things and i will just synchronize it little bit because okay we have to just examine it but a few things we have take a, take from here because this is very important tool which is uv shell tool what is this we will just discuss this uh, in this to to topic only and as you can see here we have some problems so i think we haven't opened this let's have a look okay and off this for a while paste okay this one so if i on the uh, panel like this one and if i see this is stretching so much so i will select all of them and we'll on this and just move it like this so as you can see it's not stretching too much you have to fix the shape which is very important okay same with this one which part is this this is the back part i suppose so as you can see this would be very hectic if you are in uv mode if you are selecting any vertex if you need to select in one click you have to click over here this is the uv shell tool just click over here as you can see all the things has been selected so i will just synchronize this down and move it somehow here okay make sure that you're saving your file which is very important and also we'll just check this and just have a look that is it working fine or not okay so we will manage this later words okay now we'll synchronize this little bit select this part okay fine uv and now this one so again we'll check this shell 
and select this part that would be this one so it's stretching quite very not so high but yes we have to fix it we have a proper square then it would be fine okay so we'll move somehow here because we are checking the uv and we'll move somehow like this so uh, now this part should be corrected this is that part and obviously yes there is the upper part which has been connected from here we will uh, shut out the same so i'm going to vertex and we'll off this for a while and just select this vertex and we'll go to uv and move as you can see this part this is that vertex which we have moved Control z so what i will do i just move this downward select both of them by shift selecting we'll move this downward and now you can just select both of them as you this part is the upper one and this is the lower one okay so what i will do now i will just go to the uv and just select that part also so we'll go to face and just select this one as you can see it's been merged here so we'll go to uv again and just select this one by holding shift button so if you are having this arrow which is very large you can just press minus button to small it so that you can have a proper handle just move it downward a little bit as you can see this is the top one and this is the bottom one after that here is your the last one okay so by plus you can increase the pivot size and save your file so right now what we have next we have this part so we'll select this part and for that what i will do i will just go to face and just select this part okay and just move it somehow here and just open it as you can see the uh, file is not proper so just move it like this and this part is just inside it here it is so we'll off this and there is that part so right now it's better to have the another another uv which is the planner and obviously it's facing on the x direction apply and yes definitely cast it by default it's very large no problem we'll just move it somehow here select this part this is the top one this is the top second and this would have to go here okay just move it and just scale it down scale it down again and just move it here okay so now right click go to uv select this part and just move it somewhere here okay so if you if you just go to edges if you just select both of them as you can see if you have selected one automatically it will show that this should be attached so i will select both of them and do one thing here you have cut and sew so you have to sew it okay so your edge will be sewed to each other that's the benefit of uv and also i on this and just check whether this is fine or not no that's not fine so what i have to do i will just go to uv and just select its part and just scale it manually as you can see now it's working quite well but not the small one so i will just select the small one and just move it here and have to match the boxes so that's very important to match the boxes okay fine it's working quite well the front part is fine but not this one so we'll go to face just select this one as you can see it's over here and what i have to do is just off this and now we'll just go to uv and just select this uv as first just select all of them just move it downward little bit control z because we have selected this one also we'll select this part and just move it downward and now select by holding shift button one one point and after that just move it down okay so now we have the gap of the 
Oh, that should be at the top. It should be at the top and that should be at the town. So we'll just manage it for a while. Just open it and just see. Is it working? No, that's that thing should be uh, maintained. So I think this is okay. A little bit of problem is there. And now the problem is being shut outed and okay control s save the file as you can see we have just opened the uv of all the parts so right now we will just focus on the top because yeah definitely we have to work for the same and just select the top part only we'll just select the top and obviously the side one first i will select the side one okay now just go here and uh, okay as you can see it's just enlarged so i have to just mesh through the same so skip it somehow here of this now i had a proper proper look through Open this. Now the part has been shot outed, no problem. Move it here and this thing. So you should have a proper, you can say proper square. That's very important. Don't stress like this. And also this one so we'll off this for a while go to uv and just select points that's this one that should be here that should be there okay and okay red is fine click over here let's manage the same okay. this part need to be corrected at first just select this part this one and go to uv select this and just move it fine These are fine no problem if a checker is different in size no problem you can just save it like this as you have seen that we have just opened the uv and now in next session we will open the remaining part so make sure that whenever you are just working just save your file which is very important so now you have a proper uv which has been opened here and in next session we will just save the file so i don't need required to open the uv at the downward because we we'll only paint at front and the side and this one so if the color of the uv is lighter or darker no problem you can fix this well with all the features and parameters right now i will just end isolate it and we'll just uh, open the uv of the rest of the parts like this one this one and this one okay so Let's meet to the another session.